Hey there, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to integrate AirCall uh, and set up a automation so when you apply a tag from AirCall that it can trigger a automated SMS from a sales message. So the first thing you want to do is go over to the integrations in sales message and you'll see over here you have all of these phone numbers, right? So when you connect AirCall, uh, into sales message, we can reveal the numbers you have available in air call and you can activate those numbers on top of sales message. So you can use air call numbers on top of sales message to send text. So you can use air call for calling and then the texting can come from a sales message. So once you've assigned your numbers, your air call numbers to um, sales message, we can go over uh, and really start to use the app. So the process we want to set up is when a person tags a call from air call we want to trigger a text message from sales message from that air call phone number so what i want to do from air call is we want to create a tag so i created one called zapier plus sales message sms uh, maybe a tag that you want is uh, an example could be left voicemail, no answer, and I want to trigger out an SMS, right? And so you can add a tag. Uh, these tags we're going to show in AirCall, and then we're going to integrate it into Zapier. So once you've created a tag, let's head over to Zapier, and we're going to create this automation. Again, when you uh, have a call, you tag that contact or tag that phone call with the tag. We're going to then trigger an SMS from that phone number. So what we're going to do here, we're going to click on air call. We've got uh, this here. Um, actually, sorry, what we're going to do is actually we're going to get a web hook. So a web hook and we're going to choose catch hook. We're going to click continue and Zapier is going to give us this web hook URL. So from air call, what we want to do is we want to go to integrations and we want to integrate into webhooks, okay? So click webhooks, click install. Um, I'm just gonna call this Zapier sales message SMS, All right? We're gonna paste in that Zapier URL. And the only one we want actually turned on is this call tagged. So I am going to turn off all of these. Um, all these toggles because again when a call is tagged air call will fire this webhook and then we can run an automation which would then send a sales message text so once you have this only one created click save and what we'll do here is click continue and it's gonna click uh, it's gonna say to test the trigger so I'm gonna pull up air call and I am going to make a call, okay? So I'm gonna call this number and I'm gonna test it, okay? So it's gonna call and one of the integrations we have with AirCall is it will show you the contact inside of sales message, right? We can also see it in HubSpot. So I am getting a call, I'm just gonna answer this. Hello. And then I'm gonna hang up, okay? That's going to ask me to apply a tag. So I'm going to click on this tag and we're good. So now when I go back to Zapier, it may take, you know, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, may take a minute uh, for air call to fire this over. So I'm just going to click test trigger and there it is, right? So it's going to show all of this information around air call and I'm going to click continue. And now what I want to do is I want to set up a filter. So I'm gonna set up a filter and the filter I want to set up is the tag name because maybe we have a certain tag and a message we wanna send for, um, you know, left a voicemail. The text we wanna send is, hey, I just left you voicemail, give me a call back, right? Uh, maybe there's a different text we wanna send for um, reaching a person or connecting with them. So you can create all these different tags based off the outcome uh, that, um, that you have from your air call call. So I'm gonna click uh, text contains and I'm just gonna put Zapier. 
right? Why? Well, that's the name of our tag. So if I go back over here, the tag name is just, it starts with Zapier. So this one is contains Zapier and we're good. So from here, what I can then do is create the sales message uh, text message. So I'm gonna select send a new text message, SMS or MMS. I'm gonna select the account, continue. And I'm gonna select the number I wanna send the text message uh, coming from. Now, one thing I can do is I can select that I wanna have it come from my number um, or we can select custom. And so when a call comes in, we can sort of dynamically set it up so the um, if somebody calls any number on air call, well, we can trigger this uh, this text. But for now, I'm just going to select my number, and then the phone number we want to send the text message to is uh, I'm just going to search. It's going to show data raw digits, so I'm going to select that one, and uh, I'm going to leave a text here. Thanks for leaving me a voice. Oh, just left you a voicemail. Give me a call when you can, right? And again, I mean, if I want to insert uh, merge fields, maybe there's some properties that show who the contact is, right? The number, um, the data, whatever information, maybe I want to say, hey, give me a call when you can, slash, you know, uh, Chris or whatever it is, right? Um, we can insert the first name, last name, we can apply a sales message tag, uh, and that's it. So I'm just going to actually skip this, and I'm going to uh, turn this on. So what we are going to do is we're gonna test it. So I'm going to place another phone call, right? Place this call. I got a call coming in. There it is. I'm just gonna hang up. I'm going to apply that tag. And now what we will see is we should see an outgoing text message from this 513. One of the cool things we have too is um, with our air call integration, we can show this show up as like, um, you know, I called the contact. So in a moment here, we should see a text message come through. All right, so according to Zapier, it did go through. I'm gonna head over to sales message and I should have received a text message. Uh, and there it is, right? Just left you a call, give me a call. And again, this is coming from Zapier. Now, this other side of example, I sort of went into a little bit of it, but this is the idea of, hey, I want um, any number on air call across our whole team. When any, anyone applies that tag, that uh, I want that text to come from the number that they are calling from, right? That, that outgoing phone number from air call. So instead of selecting a static number, like in this case, I selected this number, you can select custom. And what you wanna do is search for uh, data number digits. This is the outgoing number uh, from air call, right? So that's my air call number, that's the call I'm calling from. And so the idea with this is, hey, I'm calling someone, I leave a voicemail, I click apply tag, um, I want the text to come from this number, right? This send message as or send message from. I click on that and that's it. So this now makes it more dynamic. So anybody across your entire company, whenever they apply that tag, so long as that number is integrated into sales message, that text will come from that phone number. Uh, and that is how you set it up. So again, if you want to create a text message after you apply a tag from AirCall, this is how you do it. So I hope that helps and talk soon.